So it says, this problem says, um, since we're using raw old law, it says calculate the vapor pressure lowering and the final vapor pressure, the new vapor pressure, when 10 mils of glycerol, which is C3H8O3, is added to 500 mils of water at 50 degrees Celsius. At this temperature, the vapor pressure of pure water is 92.5 torr and its density is 0.988 grams per mil. The density of glycerol is 1.26 grams per mil. So uh, let's go ahead and um, solve this problem. Um, so if you recall, the vapor pressure lowering is, the formula is delta P equals mole fraction of the solute times the original vapor pressure, okay? So, uh, we're going to have to figure out what the mole fraction is of these particular substances, okay? So, um, I calculated the um, molar mass of glycerol earlier, so what do we got? So glycerol here, so 10 mils of it, and what is it? 1.26 grams per one mil. So that's going to cancel. And then what did I calculate? Um, 92.09 grams per one mole of glycerol. Okay, so this is the molar mass of Cancel, cancel. So 10 times 1. So 3 sig figs, 0 0.137. Um, water. Um, the density at that temperature, what did it say, was uh, 0.988 grams per one mil. And then 18. 0.02 grams per one mole, like that. So, to three sig figs, 27.4 mole water. Okay. So, um, now we want to uh, figure out, well, what's the mole fraction of the solute, okay? So how do we do that? Well, we're going to have to erase some of this stuff in a second. But the mole fraction is going to be the moles of what you're looking for over the total number of moles, okay? As you might imagine. So <clears throat> what's on the top? 0 0.137 moles, like that. Everybody okay with that? So this 0 0.137 moles plus 27.4 moles. And that's going to give us the mole fraction. What's the units of a mole fraction? No units. Very good. Okay, so let's add these two together plus. Okay, so the mole fraction I got is going to be 0 0.00498, we'll say, for right now. Okay, so um, 
now we want to figure out, well, what's the vapor pressure lower? Okay? So remember, vapor pressure lowering is going to be the mole fraction of the solute times the pressure at the temperature of that particular solvent. Okay? So um, at this case, in this case, it's water. And this solute, well, was glycerol. Um, so in this case, the vapor pressure is 92.5 torr. Okay? So we've got the mole fraction there. It's going to be 0 0.00498 times 92.5 torr, like that. So let's just multiply this times 92.5. And so that gives us 0 0.460 torr. OK, so that's the first answer, right? That's how much it got lowered. So what would be the new pressure, right? So the pressure new is going to be the original pressure minus the change in pressure. Does that make sense? Okay. So what was the original pressure? 92.5 torr minus 0 0.460 torr. So, well, when we do that, so 92.5 minus 0 0.460, okay. and I get, whoops, 92.0 torr. So when we added glycerol to water, did it lower the vapor pressure? Yeah, just like it was supposed to. Okay. So this is Rawls' law. This is the first of the colligative properties that you get to um, attend. Um, there's a couple of more that I want to go over with you. I'm going to have to wait till tomorrow to do. Okay. So good job, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Any questions about this one before we go? I know everybody wants to leave, so, okay.